everyone welcome back to my channel today's video we are going to do sequins especially the golden and the silver one like i got a few requests on this two colors especially that how to do the silver and the golden color just with watercolor medium without using any other glitter powder or any gel pen so first one we will uh, start with the silver one guys here you can see i'm mixing this watercolors so for getting that grayish color we will mix little white and the black and uh, for the undertone i'm mixing little of the blue color now guys you can also use poster colors if you like and uh, the proportion is the main thing here always mix and match your colors and swatch it and uh, once you are completely satisfied with the color you can start diluting it again to make the color further light and uh, i'm starting with this very fine detailing brush and uh, we will start giving the sequence pattern now remember the color is very diluted so be careful while you are picking the color with your brush if you pick too much color the color might spread and uh, it might create a little uneven pattern over the surface so you can also uh, take any uh, paper or any cloth and just wipe your brush over it to keep it clean and uh, avoid picking too much water and uh, start giving this dot method and uh, keep on building the sequence slowly and let the base dry now this is one thing which is very important when you are putting the color let it dry and uh, then you can start building up the layers and here you can see i'm just doing the four lines and uh, here you can draw the four lines little bit with your pencil if you want otherwise you can just start giving the dots in that manner towards the fold section wherever the direction of the fold is you can start giving the dots in that section and slowly you can build it up with some darker colors towards the end so guys do try this out and uh, you can share this with me you can upload on instagram and uh, you can tag me and use the hashtag art studio by shavani so that it's easier for me to come across your works under the hashtag so guys i'm done with the first layer i'm done with giving the dots and uh, let the first layer dry completely because the color was very diluted so it needs to settle down and after that to build up the intensity to make the sequence effect come out more properly we have to keep on building those dots and i'm using that same color mixture here and uh, using that same color and going over the layer and uh, creating that intense look now one thing is important here is uh, you can take the reference picture into consideration that how sequence is very reflective so it will reflect light at various angles and in some section it can have that darker intensity and wherever it has this lighter section you can just avoid putting the colors there here you can see guys in some places i have not given any dots which means that this section is reflecting light and it's very whitish in that portion so here when you are putting the color that time only you can avoid giving that color over there and using this dot method you can keep on building the intensity wherever you see other darker colors so it's all about this dots only but the right placement is the main thing here Okay, so now is the time to increase the intensity and the shade of the color you can see so we will be increasing the black to the mixture and uh, using the black we will make the color little more darker it's still gray color guys that means you are mixing that white and black but you are increasing the amount of gray to it so it will be like one shade darker and with this color we will build the intensity in the sections where you have this darker sequence effect 
so it's like working in layers you are going from a very lighter shade and slowly you are building up the color in each layer so this is the beauty of watercolor you just need to invest little time and also let the layers dry in between otherwise all the color can come up together and uh, create a complete mess because colors are very diluted so they need little time to settle properly on the surface of the paper and here you can see guys i am going very carefully with the black and uh, here you are going to spread the black very carefully because if you do it everywhere there won't be much uh, contrast between the lighter shade and the darker shade so when you are putting the black be little careful so that you don't put the black all over the place you also need to show that whitish part little grayish part so all the colors of your layer should be properly visible to give that blinking effect of your sequence So I'm almost done with the coloring guys and uh, this is one method of doing this with watercolors without using any extra medium like without using any gel color based uh, markers or like any fine liner or any type of acrylic color you can just show that nice sequence effect with your watercolors and lastly to build up the folds a little bit to give a definition to the folds i am using my regular drawing pencil and uh, not using any other color pencil or shading pencil just the normal charcoal pencil because here i don't want to overdo it and uh, disturb the sequence so you can just use your normal pencil or maybe you can use a gray color pencil if you have any kind of lighter gray that also can be used so we are done with the silver one now let's move to the golden color sequence okay firstly to make a metallic type of shimmer color without using any extra metallic color to it we can just use that watercolor and we will be using yellow and you can use any of this to yellow and mix this undertone colors that is the black and the burnt sienna or any other brown would also work like a reddish uh, tone to it and uh, this will create that little metallic look of that yellow now remember guys this whole method is totally with watercolor now this might not give you that exact metallic look because yeah this is properly with watercolor effect and uh, this has been a requested video that uh, sometimes if we don't want to use any metallic color what can be the best alternative to get that exact look so i did my color mixing and this is the best result which i can get and uh, this is not very exact with the reference picture but still this works very good and uh, this gives me that uh, kind of the metallic look which i am satisfied with and if you are using any kind of acrylic paint like there are lots of shimmer colors in the market if you use those you would be getting a different result and here the steps are again same like you can see i have done my first base with a very diluted color and after the color has settled in i am going with that same color again so the same steps which we have done in the first one the same steps we have done here so far and uh, here the color mixing is different of course but the layering method is same Thank mm -hmm. you.
so here again you can leave those area where you want to show that extreme shine and the reflection and uh, keep on building the intensity of the color in areas where you want to show that darkness especially around the underarms around the corners of the body around the folds so yeah and here you can see guys i'm increasing the amount of the burnt sienna you can take any of this brown the burnt sienna or the burnt umber color and uh, you can also mix with little black and just increase the amount of the intensity like here the brown color will go very well with this yellowish color and together they will create that very nice shimmery effect So guys you can see slowly it's starting to take place and uh, I am just increasing the amount of black to it. So it's like again you are going from a very lighter color shade like with very lighter shade of that yellowish and uh, after that you are increasing the intensity by mixing little brown to it and as you keep on mixing the colors you are just increasing the amount of maybe black to it. So yeah this are the level of colors you are going with and here around the corners i can like give little more black to it to show that very extreme darkness as because the shimmers are again very reflective so there would be very much of the darkness look around the corners and when you are doing the placement of the black be careful not to overdo it otherwise it will disturb that uh, contrast between the darker shade and that extreme lighter shade so again we need to give those colors properly to bring out that nice shimmery effect mm -hmm.
सो गाइज लास्टली वेन ऑल द कलर्स आर डन आई विल गिव दैट फाइनल ब्लैकिश लुक टू इट जस्ट लिटिल बिट हियर इन देयर एंड आफ्टर दिस इज कम्प्लीटेड आई विल अगेन गो टू गिव लिटिल मोर डेफिनेशन ओवर द फोल्स एंड यूजिंग माई रेगुलर स्केचिंग पेंसिल ऑनली नॉट यूजिंग एनी अदर एक्स्ट्रा मीडियम हेयर बट यू कैन यूज एनी ब्राउन कलर पेंसिल और ब्लैकिश कलर पेंसिल ऑल्सो बट द मेन थिंग इज दैट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू डिस्टर्ब द सीक्वेंस लुक विद लॉट्स ऑफ शेडिंग कलर हेयर सो आई विल एवॉइड दैट पेंसिल शेड हेयर एंड जस्ट फोकस ऑन द सीक्वेंस इफेक्ट सो गाइज आई होप यू एन्जॉय टूडेज वीडियो एंड इफ यू हैव मोर सच रिकमेंडेशन्स यू कैन कमेंट डाउन बिलो एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल डोंट फॉर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब एंड ऑल्सो यू कैन प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट ऑल द नोटिफिकेशन्स ऑफ माई अपकमिंग अपलोड एंड आई शेल सी ऑल वेरी सोन इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल दैन टेक केयर बाय